Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Learn with Wanja again. And today we are talking about direct clients. Who is a direct client? This is a client that you deal with directly without intervention of either a platform or an intermediary. The client is the one who gives you jobs. If you have questions, you ask to the client directly probably through uh, email, WhatsApp, or whatever communication channel you're using with your clients. Where do we get direct clients? How and where do we find these kind of clients? Point number one, networking. You find that uh, in every aspect of life, networking comes in handy a big way. For example, uh, in your social media, you have your networks, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, uh, Twitter, and any other uh, social media platform that you're using, not to forget LinkedIn. You need to have a strong professional network because this is what is going to help you get those direct clients. Engage in online communities and forums. Make sure you're out there and establish relationships that can lead to, to client referrals or direct hiring. Number two is referrals, okay? Now, from the point of networks, you have contacts, you have colleagues, you have previous clients probably, you have worked with very many people, you have neighbors where you live, you have other communities that you are a member, let people know what you do. Let them know that you are available for the kind of jobs that, that you do and the kind of services that you offer. You never know who is in the midst. They might not be the ones needing uh, somebody to work for them, but they will know somebody who needs someone. So referrals really come in handy when it comes to finding direct clients. Let everyone that in your circle know what you do. You never know. We have online platforms yes now from linkedin from uh, the other platforms twitter and the others some online platforms have very high probability of you getting jobs there yeah so please be very proactive participate in uh, linkedin groups post insightful content Engage with potential clients or industry professionals. Do not shy away from reaching out to them. You can create a personal website and portfolio and showcase samples of your work, skills and expertise, yes, and use your portfolio to highlight your best projects. This one will work in uh, social media platforms, in platforms like Upwork, LinkedIn, you can have portfolios there. We have freelance job boards, yeah? So some job boards, they feature postings from companies looking to hire freelancers directly. You could find Upwork, freelancer.com. Uh, you could find even Fiverr, Google, and the others. And even indeed, they have such opportunities. So when, if you're a member in those platforms, do not shy away from these opportunities. We have industry-specific websites and forums, yeah? So explore those forums. If you are an IT person, explore those forums, join those groups and uh, or job boards. These platforms, you could find a company that is looking for somebody and they do not want to advertise. They want to work with their network. So participate in those discussions, give insights where need be, position yourself as an expert, you'll attract potential clients, confidence at its best. Collaborating with agencies or consultants, yeah? You can partner with marketing agencies or consultants, yeah? And uh, just let send yourself out there, yeah? Offer your freelance services as an extension of their team or as a specialized resource to handle overflow. We have what we call cold outreach. 
This is reaching out to potential clients. You don't know them. You have never worked with them, but they are potential clients. Reach out to them. Yes. Create out pitches. Reach out to them. You can send cold emails, LinkedIn messages, direct phone calls. This one works really well. Yes, you can just call a company. Probably they are not will uh they are not having a vacancy at the moment, but you don't know what will happen in two months, one month, or even a year. You may get an opportunity from the least places you expect. So do not fear to to reach out to them via any of these uh any of these platforms. Yes. So there are so many ways of getting direct clients, but these are the most proficient ways that you can use to get direct clients. You can see an example, uh, for example, in Upwork, that's a platform I really uh, work with. You, you may go to look for a job. You find a client who has stated that their job is not a one-time job, is a continuous one. And then uh, in the process of you doing the job, the client uh, sees that uh, probably this freelancer is very reliable. I would love to work with them one-on-one. -on -one. That is a very good opportunity. You can now uh, come out of the platform, work with the client on a direct basis, probably via email or whatever means they want to be communicating to you and establish contracts, establish very good work relationship. And you may find that client coming in handy for very many years, being your, uh, being your client and you working for them and even the job becoming better and better and the pay as you proceed. Now, building a client base takes time and effort. You should know this. Very, very important. You need to be consistent, professional, and always deliver high quality work. Yes, this is essential to attract direct clients and establish long-term relationships. Remember, winning a direct client is not the only goal. You want to win them and maintain them for a long time. You do not want to have a client who intended to have you for the rest of the year. You mess with them in the second month. No, you want to have a client that you can work with for months and months and months, if possible, years and years. So make sure, make sure to maintain that relationship. Be very careful to always deliver your best, communicate Make sure you deliver as expected or even supersede the expectations. I've seen clients who are very generous and when you exceed their expectations, they even give you bonuses. So please make sure that you are able to maintain long-term relationships. Another thing, maintain a strong online presence. Keep updating your portfolio. You find that uh, from time to time you're doing projects, you're doing courses, you're adding new skills, keep adding them to your profiles, to your portfolio, yes, and market yourself as much as you can. It will increase your chances of getting direct clients and you'll find that even those direct clients that you've gotten, if they know other clients who may need your services, they'll refer them to you. Even if you'll not be able to handle the job, they would want you to get them another person like you to work for them. So this is how you find that you are networking. You're even being able to source jobs for your fellow friends or freelancers. 